I would like to do a quick follow-up to one of the previous examples and point out a common error that many students make. It will be discussed in much greater detail in another video, but I think it's important to make this note now. With respect to this decomposition problem, it is very tempting to say that it doesn't have a solution because the last entry in each of the decomposition vectors is divisible by 3, while the last entry in the target vector is not divisible by 3. Thus, this decomposition is impossible. But of course, this argument forgets that we can multiply by fractions. In fact, we can multiply by all real numbers. And if we were to multiply any one of the decomposition vectors by one-third, this property would go away. So while it is closed under addition, meaning that if we were to add any two vectors like this together, the sum would still have that property, it is not closed under multiplication by numbers. And it needs to be both because linear combinations have both addition and multiplication by numbers. So it has to be closed under both in order for the argument to work. And while it is true that this decomposition problem does not have a solution, the right justification for it is the one that was given earlier, that all the decomposition vectors share the property, that the middle entry is the average of the other two, while the vector on the left-hand side does not have that property because 4 is not the average of 3 and 7. But now, just for the sake of the argument, let's make it the average of 3 and 7. Let's replace the 4 with a 5. Now the correct argument goes away, because now the target vector shares the property that we identified in each of the decomposition vectors. And if we still insisted on the incorrect argument, we would say that this new decomposition problem doesn't have a solution because each one of these entries is divisible by 3, while this one is not divisible by 3. But this problem does have a solution. In fact, as we'll discover in the future, it has infinitely many solutions. And one of those solutions is 5 thirds, 1 third, 0. Go ahead and make sure that this is the right solution. So the point is clear. When analyzing properties, in trying to argue that some decomposition problem is impossible, you have to keep in mind that that property needs to be closed under both addition and multiplication by numbers, and not just integers, and not even just fractions, but all real numbers.